Wilt thou be made whole? Do you want a new life? Wilt thou be made whole? And believe in Christ? Do you want to be washed whiter than snow? Wilt thou be made whole? I love that song. I was just in my prayer this morning, praying for wholeness for my family, for the nations. We need wholeness, and uh, we're on a journey to wholeness as we begin with the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thankful you've joined me. Thankful if you're a new subscriber. Love you if you're an old subscriber. <laughs> And you stop by to visit again. I do appreciate that. Uh, we're in difficult times. We're in those perilous times the Word talks about. And uh, we know anyone that stops by here, you aren't without some pain or some suffering in some area because we live in this world. And Jesus told us, besides the great tribulation, he told us that we would have tribulation in this life. We would have trouble. We would have stresses because we live in a fallen world and uh, we can't go through this life without that touching us in some way or the other. And, uh, you know, if you open the door to sin, Satan just gets in there and uh, he has a heyday with your life. And uh, you don't know how to make it out sometimes, but this journey to wholeness begins with Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through the Son. And uh, there is something imparted. When you truly give your heart to Jesus, He gives you peace and joy when He comes into your heart. A peace you can't understand because when we're all in sin and terrible sin, we are really wrecked. You know, it's, it's hard to sleep at night when you're consumed with guilt and shame. But uh, if you give that guilt and shame to Jesus, he fully took it on the cross. He chose to go through the pain he went through to save our souls. So, uh, sharing a few scriptures with you. John 3, 16. Um, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him might inherit eternal life. Acts 2.38 This was what Peter told the New Testament church when the Jews came and said, Men and brethren, what must we do? Meaning, well, how can we be saved after we've been part of crucifying the God from heaven? <laughs> they crucified the God of glory. And... Uh, that God of glory died for their sins. Acts 2.38 Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And you know, this journey to wholeness, we need to be made whole. We've got to get well inside. Even if you're living for the Lord, uh, there is a process to this wholeness. And uh, you have that peace and joy that comes in, but you you have uh, an enemy that wants to torment you, remind you of terrible things you've done. His job is going around making you feel worthless. And uh, you've got to know who you're serving now and be assured of that forgiveness from Christ. You are not condemned. Jesus said he came not to condemn, but to save. So he made that decision, and thank God for it. Because of that, we receive that forgiveness given through his atonement for our sins. And you know, as you step on into wholeness, you've got to forgive yourself. I got hold of the word and uh, knew that the Lord had forgiven me. But forgiving myself, looking back at terrible things and thinking, how did you get there? How did you do that? I still had to forgive myself 
and that was a struggle for a while. And the other thing that can hold up this blessings and wholeness for you is when you will not forgive others, you must forgive others. Second Chronicles 7:14. Nations, you need healing. And uh, Second Chronicles 7:14 tells us if my people called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sins and heal their land. Our land needs healing, and uh, there is one true God. He is a jealous God. The idolatry has to be snuffed out. We cannot serve other gods, and uh, we make ourselves a God when we are ignoring the God of glory. you got to lay your life down. Jesus lay his life down for us, and he wants us to lay our life down for him. He wants us to bear our cross he wants us to walk in heavenly places with him and not as this world walks you know as long as you are unforgiving those whole the, your wholeness you're looking for the blessings that the lord has for you they are held up the lord told me that one time that he had blessings for me but he couldn't release them because of my unforgiveness i had a problem with someone and I had to let it go. You know, that was healing for me when I let it go. And when I actually was able to pray for those different people through the years when uh, there's been hurt or harm, praying with sincerity for their blessing, for the Lord to help them if they're in error, but to bless them, Lord. And I pray for the salvation of their soul with sincerity. There's healing for me when I do that. So I pray that you are able to do that today as well. And um, David Ingalls has a song, Earth, 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 hear ye the word of the Lord. That's what our earth needs today. Earth, 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 hear ye the word of the Lord. You need to be healed, Earth. Lands people, men, women, children. You need the healing of the Lord. You need the salvation of the Lord. And today is the day of salvation. Just turn to the Lord. You will find that when you cry out to Jesus, He comes on the scene. And we need Him. Look around the world. Look around the world. We need the Lord. People of the earth, we need the Lord. Call out to him for our souls. Call out to him for our nations. Father, we just love you so much. We pray for each one that may be listening today. You see their needs. You may see fear in them, and we uh, just bind that fear, Lord. There's no room for fear in serving you. You've called us to have faith, and uh, just let faith come up. And let courage and strength come in from you, Lord. You are our strength. When we are weak, you are strong. Be with us, Lord. Help us, guide us. Save our families, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I love you. Jesus loves you more. Have a blessed weekend serving the Lord, worshiping him and praising him.